morning. Good morning from Chesington World of Adventures and our first ever full day here. We had a little bit of a look around the park for an hour or so yesterday. Do quick, safari. Yeah, quick safari. This morning is our first full day here. We're actually going to do some rides today. Because we stayed over in the hotel last night, we have got ERT this morning from, I think it's nine until 10, and various rides, including Vampire and the Ruffalo. Just about five minutes away from us letting them in, uh, from, from them letting, from them letting us in. That's all I was going to say. And we're just busy watching some monkeys. Yeah, I'm getting very distracted. Just, we just filmed some footage of the monkeys. I'll show you the monkeys in a minute. <laughs> started to let us into the park now and here's a capybara again on the way in just munching on some is that lettuce I'm gonna go and munch on some lettuce in the park Divi. and we are making our way into the wild woods which is where the gruffalo and the vampire are situated and the fish and chips and the vampire burger kitchen I think I'm hoping a lot of people are gonna be heading towards the gruffalo ride which seems to be the case but, yeah, it's closed at the moment, but it should be open in any minute now. But we're going to keep walking down this way and head down towards the vampire. Right, here we go straight into vampire. In here for the first time ever. The sign said to turn back, Davy. Davy, the sign said turn back. Oh no. Oh no. Vampire's awesome stations, Davy. The vampire used to play the organ, but it doesn't work anymore. The vampire, of course, is a suspended swinging coaster. So these chairs actually swing underneath the train as it goes around corners. I've never been on a suspended swinging coaster before, mainly because they're very rare. I think this is definitely the only one in the UK, possibly one of very few left in the whole world, Stevie. Ticked a bucket list coaster off, Stevie. Yeah, it's really fun, that. It's not scary. It's just, I was laughing all the way through it. Yeah, that, that's what I was kind of expecting, yeah. really, just uh, to be a really fun coaster. And I've been looking forward to it since I was a kid. It's great to finally get on it. Been waiting about 25 years for that. It's awesome. It's a little bit headbanging towards the end, though. Crap me out of the Yeah, it's a couple of bits towards the end where it's like quickly swinging you from one side to the other. Where it's a little bit of a headbanger, but it was great fun anyway. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think we're going to check out the Ruffalo River ride. The vampire just going over our heads. Yeah, just saying, we're going to check out the Gruffalo River ride now while we're still in it. ERT. We might as well take advantage before it gets a bit busier later. Gruffalo River ride, Stevie. Stevie's grippered by the Gruffalo. The station for the Gruffalo. Looking very fun. Did you enjoy the Gruffalo, Stevie? I did. It was a lovely little dark ride. Yeah, it was really fun that, wasn't it? It's quite high standard as well in terms of that ride in the UK. Yeah, really well themed and the... Uh, there's a couple of fun little, well there's a drop in there and a couple of like splashy bits in there. It's great fun, really enjoyed it. Now we're walking back into Vampire to give Vampire another go. Because why not? We've done it on the front row. I think I want to try and do the back row now. Yeah, why not? We'll do the back row as well and see what the ride experience is like there. A closer view of the Vampire animatronic. Uh, sadly is no longer animated. It still looks very cool though. done the front row and the back row during the ERT with a bit of gruffalo in the middle and I think I prefer the back row on Vampire it's nice yeah. to have the, the view on the front it's more like I don't know fun on the back yeah really fun ride really enjoyed it and it was nice that it wasn't disappointing after waiting so many years to ride it now, no idea where we're going now I think we're just have gonna to have a bit of an explore and see what else takes our fancy I just showed you, I was Dragon's Fury, which is a same type of coaster as Spinball Wizard over at Alton Towers. But it looks longer. Yeah, it's definitely a longer ride, a bit more going on. 
and from what I've read online people prefer this to spin ball and it's only a 10 minute wait so let's go and check it out. Is this potentially the bit where Stevie gets ill? Gotta love a spinning coaster. Bit of spinning for Stevie just after your breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully you'll be alright. I'm just looking at the capybara feeding on the screen. Stevie really wants to come back and do the VIP animal experiences. We'll come back another time and do those. Yeah, that'd be cool. What do you think of Dragon's Fury? Quite fun, but it's yeah. rough, but it's really rough. It was fun, is it? I wouldn't recommend going on it if you got a bit of a sore neck because it'll only make it worse. I wouldn't recommend like not holding on either because we were both holding on and we were being battered. So I imagine if you got your arms up, you just got no yeah. control. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would, wouldn't be a pleasant experience. It was fun though. I thought I'd get fun. sick on it and I didn't. I nah. could do it more than once in a row, but I couldn't do it. So, Lucy, I'll go on it with you next time. Yeah, spin ball. Spin ball, yeah. It's better than spin ball though. Definitely a better ride than spin ball. Having ridden them both recently. I've not ridden spin ball for years. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's more fun than spin ball. Spin ball's alright. I don't hate spin ball, but that's the better ride than it, definitely. Anyway, uh, it's still fairly early. Half past ten, the park's only been open to normal guests for about half an hour. Um, quite fancy Tiger Rock now, the new, well not new log flume, but rethemed log flume for this season. Let's go and head down there I think. Heading into the rather well themed new area here at Chesington, the land of the tiger. It's a tiger top, I think that's for a school trip Stevie, I don't think you're allowed to join the school trip sadly. Oh dear, have we got any tigers going on in the enclosure here? Uh, no, the sleepy tiger over there. I've not seen any of these tigers awake yet. Really nicely themed, just outside the ride entrance. Five minute wait. Should we go and do it, Stevie? Are we going to get wet? Really nicely themed station. Great, isn't it? Here we have Cobra, which Stevie doesn't fancy. It looks like Avatar at Blackpool and that makes me so ill. Yeah. It's it. like Avatar of a longer track. Yeah, spinning disco coaster, I think they're called. The track itself is quite impressive though. Yeah, it's quite got that extra bit with having the hump in the middle. Yeah. I go green on these kind of rides. It's like probably it's gonna be going on rides for the rest of the trip. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Just realised we forgot to review Tiger Rock. It was great fun. Stevie got a little bit soggy. A little bit. He was using me as a shield. That's what happened. I was sat behind Stevie, so I got I stayed fairly dry apart from my shoulders. But it was a great ride. I enjoyed the theming in there. Some great theming elements. We had the um, smoking tiger head in there. Lots of flashing lighting effects. And we had the actual tiger's head itself on the main drop. And yeah, really great job in the theming that they've done there, to be honest, really enjoyed it. Yeah, and on like a, an active day as well, you could probably see the tigers themselves punching about, yeah. but they were quite sleepy today. Yeah, for the most part, the tigers seem to be asleep today. Oh, Cobra's going. Should we watch Cobra? I think so. It's a lorikeet lagoon, which is a walk-through bird attraction. <laughs> Sorry lorikeets, you haven't got any food. <laughs> Stevie's got a lorikeet on her head. I hope it doesn't do a poo on your head. This is what you get for not bringing it any food, Stevie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Is this, is this, this going to stay here now? <laughs> We've got a new friend. Are you coming on some rides with us later, Mr. Lorikeet? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Laura Keat. <laughs> can tell Stevie's at one with the animals. I should have took my earrings out. I'm worried about my earrings. It's Laura Keats co coming with you. You <laughs> really like Nobody else has got a Laura Keats on the head. Why is there only you that's got a Laura Keats? Or has it flew off now? <laughs> I made a friend. Yeah. What's your happen? Yeah. I caught your Mary Poppins moment this time. Yeah, I had one of those at Disney, a random bird. It wasn't even in Animal Kingdom, it was Hogwarts Studios. Like, yeah. On my head and I would miss the whole thing. Yeah, it was while we were watching the, the March of the First Order at Hollywood Studios. Very nice of them to sit above their sign describing what they are. A lot of school trips here today actually. Most of the busyness in the park is from school trips. I don't mind too much. It's obviously I went on school trips when I was a kid. The kids are perfectly entitled to have school trips. Head into Tomb Blaster quickly before another school trip. Nicely themed queue line again, Stevie. A lot of the queues are fairly well themed here at Chesington. Tunnel, Tomb Blaster, in keeping with a lot of the other stuff here at Chesington. It was a really well themed ride, even on here in the exit area. Pretty well themed. Yeah. Stevie well, says she prefers Jewel though. I do. This, I do. this because I won on Tomb Blaster. No, you did win, to be fair, you won. But like, I like the gun, the weight oh, of the guns on this compared to Yeah, the, the, like, the design of the guns is really good, wasn't yeah. it? But there's still like sound effects with the gun at all. You, you, like, you like the pew 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 yeah, effect on like Jewel. Pew, pew. <laughs> it's like, I'm just shooting stuff. And this one as well, if you like go with the trigger, if you don't like go with the trigger fully, it doesn't take your next shot. But it's Jewel does. Yeah, so. yeah, you have to let go completely. Yeah. It's like, let go a little bit and keep pressing. Like yeah. That. yeah, I've never tried that. I'm That's always right, fully pressing the trigger on Jewel. Yeah. So like, I mess up on that one because you have to like completely let go on it. Is that why I won? But no, I, I like the theming in there, but I prefer Jewel over there. It's nicely themed. Yeah. It's good to do something a bit different from Jewel. Because been, I've probably been on Jewel about 50 times this yeah. year. But it was an enjoyable ride. It's the first, as I said, well, it's the first time we've been to the park, so it's the first time we've been on Tomb Blaster. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Amos's Revenge, the Huss Top Spin here. It looks like it's only operating on peak days. One of the only top spins left in the country now. Obviously, Pretty much like exactly what Ripsaw was. Yeah, it's the same ride as Ripsaw, but Alton Towers removed Ripsaw a good three, four, maybe five years ago now. Stevie wants to go on the giraffe safari, but it looks like Stevie is not going on Ramesses Revenge today, which I think she's very pleased about. She didn't fancy getting squirted in the face by a load of water. These tiger rock bears. Very cute. That's 15 pounds each. Pringles. Stevie spotted the Pringles. Should we have some Pringles? I Yeah, we're gonna go on Rattlesnake. 20 minute queue, we can deal with that. Yeah. Rattlesnake of course is a steel wild mouse coaster. A little indoor section here. Looks like a lot of fun. I've not been on a wild mouse coaster for a little while. Should be a lot of fun. It's a rattlesnake in there, Stevie. Oh no. Yeah, it's a friendly rattlesnake. Doesn't like the kind of rattlesnake that eats Pringles. Probably explain that I just ate loads of Pringles and didn't leave any for Stevie. <laughs> I was on autopilot, I was looking at something else and just shoving the Pringles in my face. And then I looked down and there was only three Pringles left for Stevie. It's just nasty. Buy lunch in a minute, you'll be alright then. Okay. 
I can't remember why I've not been on a wild mouse coaster for ages. It hurts so much. My stomach on the lap bar. Nice bashing. Just it did lunch. me into it. I, I flew into the lap yeah. bar. Got a, a shared lap bar between me and Stevie. Obviously, Stevie had a lot of room in front of her. So she got to fly into the lap bar at high speed. <laughs> I've been sucker punched. Yeah. It was kind of fun. If you like wild mouse coasters, you enjoy it. It is fun, but we queued for 20 minutes. I wouldn't say it's worth 20 minutes. No, it was kind of short once you're yeah. on it. We're in the smokehouse barbecue, having some food. Stevie's got some brisket and a jalapeno sausage and sweet potato fries with mayonnaise on them. And next we are beans. And Stevie's stolen some of my pit beans. And I pretty much got the same thing, but since I just got the normal fries instead of the sweet potato. It's pretty good, isn't it? Quite tasty for theme park food, not so bad. So after lunch, um, we don't feel like doing rides anytime soon, so we come to see some more animals. We found the reindeer. It's a very cute looking reindeer. Yeah. I think it likes the hot weather though. Yeah. Having a shake. Sea lions are out having a swim in the pond. There's one. Donkey enjoying some grass over there. Out in the sunshine. That's a sleepy animal today. Yeah. So, Sumatran tiger just hiding out over there. I think we're going to have a little waddle down the hill. Florida. Let's look at the, the theme in and the sort of Disney-ish feel that this place has to it. It's just the last hour isn't it? It's got really hot. Yeah, really hot afternoon. Oh, and it's not helping that really full of food. No, I think we might go and jump on the Scorpion right, Express. Right, right. It's only got a five minute queue apparently, so fingers crossed it shouldn't be too long. Metal Scorpions here. Good theming in the queue line here for the Scorpion Express. Are really nicely themed. This is of course a Mac powered coaster, the same as the Runaway Mine Train at Alton Towers. Just taking the reindeer for a walk and a skunk. <laughs> oh, the goats as well. Ah, oh, that's nice to see the animals out and about in the park. <laughs> I love your little face when you see cute animals. We got some Nitro Genie ice cream, by the way. We've already eaten mine. It's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty tasty, isn't it? Yeah. We got one on that big meet up. Yeah, from the one at Alton Towers. I probably didn't say it was more nice, but then it was good in some way. But I'm going to get one at Alton Towers. I've got one today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Treated ourselves to it today. It wasn't too bad with the annual pass discount. Yeah. Is it 4 95 for a large? Yeah, 4 95 and then you got 20% off that. Yeah, you went right in the tigers falling between the houses and rubble on the wall. Is that piece? 
but they actually get killed mainly for their burns and even some of their internal organs. Again, there's quite a few people out there in the world that believe tiger probe, anything like that, just to make them worth their food, get them exercise and keep them fit and healthy, which is also very important. Now another form of enrichment we like to give is what we call manipulative enrichment. Things they can play with. So a bit like at home, if you've got any pets, cats or dogs, you might have uh, tennis balls or feathers on a string, anything like that for them to play with. That's pretty much exactly the same concept. Obviously it's just going to be a lot bigger, a lot sturdier and a lot stronger. So you may see various sized tires in enclosures, various sized boomer balls, again hexen sacks just filled with straw, anything like that will chop and change that enclosure. So they do have a little bit of excess energy, they might be a little bit bored of uh, stalking each other and playing and uh, chasing each other around. Then they can chew on these things, destroy them, take them into the and make a whole lot of mess. So again, it's one way to keep them physically active, but also mentally stimulated. Now, as I mentioned, the Sumatran tigers are classed as critically endangered, and here at Chesterton, we are actually part of a breeding program. Now, you kind of might say, how so if you've only got two females? Well, that's kind of true, but we actually don't have to have a male here to be part of the breeding program. But the reason why we only have the two females is with the mum Ratna and a male that we used to have, Kelebu's dad. We've been so successful breeding that pair. So previous to Kelebu, and she's actually got a brother. More activity from the lion now. The lioness is guarding the ball. And that's her ball, Steve. Come down to the Wanyama village for a little bit. And these are some gazelles that we can see here. If Meerkat just wants to relax, it's too hot. Who can blame it? Is Adventure Meerkat. <laughs> now it's chilling. Why is doing this? Peekaboo thing. Peekaboo. for danger. We're relaxing with a drink outside the smokehouse barbecue and bar. It's too hot to do anything else at the moment. <laughs> we might go and watch the Animal Antics show in about 15 minutes. But everyone else seems to be having the same idea. So we might not be going much watching the Animal Antics show. We might not have anywhere to sit. We'll go and sit on the grass and watch it maybe. There is. It's pretty much down to what I eat. Does anyone know what Meerkat does eat? Anyone shout out? Oh, Don't put your hands up, stop being polite, shout at me. Crickets. Okay. Crickets? Okay. Yeah, bugs? Birds? I think I heard over there. Pretty much anything. So that little jackdaw there is messing with fire at the moment. They will fly off in a bit, don't worry. But they will eat pretty much anything they can get their hands on and overpower. So they're known to eat small mammals, small birds, snakes even, small lizards, but mainly bugs. Photo, one of our raccoons we have here at Chessington. And she's going to be showing off some of the many uh, behaviours that she knows. Now raccoons, they are found all over the North American continent. These things aren't rare whatsoever. They're actually considered a pest. They're a bit like foxes we get in our own back gardens. Now they are found everywhere because they are very smart animals. We're on our way out of the park now. This is Stevie saying goodbye to the capybaras. Slobber barra. I think Stevie's got a new favourite animal. <laughs> guinea dog. Here's a guinea dog, isn't it? Munching away. He's a this is like my favourite animal. Eat, sleep, and then sit in the water when it's warm. Yeah. I could do that. Could you be a capybara? Yeah. I love them. Well, that's going to do it from Chesington World of Adventures. It's been a really nice first ever visit to Chesington for us. It's been really warm and really busy. Yeah, the park was a lot busier than I thought it was going to be for an off-peak day. As I said earlier on in the video, there are quite a lot of school trips there today, which really upped the crowd levels a little bit. It's like the queue times haven't been too bad. I'm on the queue once twice for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I think we did well this, like, this morning before it got too busy. We got in most of the rides. To be fair, there's only really a small number of rides that I was really bothered about doing here because yeah. it's more of a, like a family orientated park, isn't it? I think it's absolutely brilliant for kids. Like, if we ever have kids, I'm, I'd bring them here in a heartbeat. It's a fantastic place. Yes. Yeah. But there's not enough. There's not. There's not a lot to cater to just me and you. I think the there's, animal side of it's brilliant, but ride-wise, there's not a lot. Yeah, and that's why there's Thought Park just down the road, which is where we're about to head now. 
and you'll see that in our next video because Thought Park is aimed at the, the older like year, like yeah. teenagers and adults this is more of a kids and family park having said that Vampire is a fantastic coaster great family coaster and we'll definitely be coming back because I want to do a lot of the VIP stuff with the animals yeah some of the animal experiences sound absolutely fantastic and we really want to try those out I want to feed a capybara yeah, Stevie's new favourite animal, a capybara, as you saw there. I've seen them before, but it's not that close. Yeah, really lovely animals, like guinea dogs, as Stevie calls them. Anyway, we're going to get on the road to Thought Park. Hope you've enjoyed our trip to Chesington World of Adventures. As we said, we'll definitely be back again in future. Yeah. And try and do a few of the VIP experiences to take you guys along with. For the now, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to follow our adventures. We'll see you guys in Thought Park in the next video. See ya. Bye. Bye, Chessington.